Good morning everyone. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the grand launching of the Vitro Santa Rosa VSR Data Center. Today marks a defining moment in our nation's digital journey as we gather for the grand launching of the Philippines' first AI-ready hyperscale data center. To officially open this historic occasion, may I call on the chairman of the PLDT Group, Mr. Manuel V. Pangilinan. Your Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., honored guests, magandang kumaga po sa inyo lahat. I'd like to welcome all of you to the country's first hyperscaler and AI-ready data center, the largest and most advanced in the country. Uh, first, my apologies to the President. Uh, last November, and I think in January, we brought you to the heat of the sun when you inaugurated the solar farm in Nueva Ecija and Calax in uh, Laguna. And this time we're bringing you to the Arctic climate of a data center. So my our apologies. Uh, you've been told that uh, uh, the aircon units of this data center add up to 72,000 uh, horsepower, which is uh, a significant uh, power uh, consumption for, for this business. So I'm told Maralco is ecstatic with the power consumption of this place. Um, but I, I, I don't want to go through the numbers. I think you'll be briefed about. So I'd just like to, be, uh, to, to say two things, Mr. President. Uh, number one is that, uh, uh, as Secretary Henry indicated, that we, we do intend to, to expand our data center capability for, by ourselves for up to 500 megawatts of capacity in the next, well, Secretary Henry wants it done in three years. <laughs> so uh, all he has to do is issue us a department order and we'll comply. So we, we pledge that to you, Mr. President. Uh, we have to be at least equal to the capacity of Malaysia, right? So we will do that for, for under your government. The second is the cooperation. It, to do this, we you really need the cooperation of in Maralco, because they have declared this to be a safety zone, so continuous supply of power. But despite that, you've seen the generators we've bought, no? uh, at least 18 and five more. So 23 generators to power up each of the 18 uh, data halls. No? So we're, so, and the other is connectivity. The connectivity provided both domestic and international. International is very important because uh, more than 90% of internet uh, download that really come from abroad. So international connectivity is, uh, is very important. At the same time, hyperscalers are sensitive to where the cables are located, as I indicated to you, Mr. President, preferably in the East Coast of the zone and the landing stations as well, where the cables land. We have a number of those on the East Coast, on the West Coast of the zone. And now we've expanded to the East Coast of the zone and Cebu and Davao as well so to diversify the landing stations. So you have our pledge, Mr. President, to really make uh, the Philippines a data center hub. Uh, and in that regard, in fact, uh, uh, Anthony Salim is also in this business in Indonesia, and he wants to invest here. So I said, you're well, he's welcome to put his money in here uh, under your government, Mr. President. So thank you for for coming over uh, for this inauguration, and most especially to the President uh, for being here and gracing this, this, uh, this occasion. And we're very grateful for that, for, that, for your trust and confidence. And uh, you have our full support, uh, Mr. President. Thank you, good morning. Thank you very much, Chairman MVP. And now, uh, may we invite everyone to kindly turn their attention on the screen, as well as the walls and even the ceiling, as we unveil the latest innovation masterpiece 
of Vitro and the PLDT Group, the Vitro Santa Rosa Data Center. At this point, I would like to call on a good friend, DICT Secretary Henry Roel Aguda, to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you, uh, the ICT Secretary, Secretary Henry Aguda. Please, uh, please take your seats. Uh, uh, DTI Secretary, uh, Secretary Chris Roque, of course, our very good friend and uh, most important partner in not only uh, in not only bringing AI uh, ready facilities such as this, but in all kinds of other sectors of our of our economy, our uh, uh, good friend and partner, PLDT Incorporated Chairman, Mr. Mani Pangilinan. The EPLDT and Vitro Incorporated President, Mr. Victor S. Henwino. Santa Rosa City Mayor Arlene Arcilias. The officers of PLDT, SMART, EPLDT, and Vitro, esteemed partners, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would just like to add to what Mike was saying when he said, you congratulated EPLDT and Vitro for what they have done. I now would like to add to that and congratulate the Philippines because we now have this incredible facility which makes us AI ready and definitely in the running to compete with our neighbors and, and our, our partners all around the world. And that is a very important uh, achievement. We import, with that important milestone is what we mark here today in Santa Rosa, this launch of the Vitro Santa Rosa or VSR Data Center. It stands as proof that the Philippines is future ready for the digital realm. There is some work left to do, but we are ready to do that work so we can be an equal player in the world of data and data processing. This launch also reflects our commitment to regional development. We bring the digital progress beyond outside of Metro Manila into the heart of our provinces. Fully energized, artificial intelligence ready, built to support hyperscale cloud enterprise workloads. In other words, the Googles, the Amazons, the Facebooks of this world. Those who are not tech you might ask, ano ba yung data center na yan? A data center is akin to a warehouse. Parang warehouse yan. Ngunit, imbis na yung mga gamit ang uh, naka-storage dun, instead of boxes of products, we store digital information, such as emails, videos, business records, government files, even the apps on your phone. It keeps everything running safely and securely 24 hours, seven days a week. Every time you attend a virtual meeting, every time you book a plane ticket, every time you pay online, go shopping, even stream your favorite movies and drama series, that data passes through a facility like this. In today's world, data is as critical as water and electricity. We need to strengthen further our digital infrastructure, especially for critical private and confidential data. We need to safeguard our digital security. We need to secure our digital future. So how important, in fact, is uh, di the, a secure di digital information system? Itong mga panahon na ito, paano natin nalalaman kapag in a relationship na ang dalawang tao? Nowadays, they call it an Instagram hard launch. Posting of romantic pictures sa IG na may caption, found my forever, or such like. <laughs> Meron ding soft launch. I look at the social media post of Sando, siya nagturo sa akin ito. 
Paano mo naman malalaman kung hiwalay na? Nag-unfollow at nag-block na kaagad. Burahan ng picture. Pero minsan, napapasilip pa rin sa archive na nagpapakasakaling may naiwan pang picture para may memories. Buti na lang, may data center na tayo. Kasi kahit siya ay hindi na bumalik, yung alala, nakaka-backup pa rin, yan ang sinasabi natin, tech has your back. As a powerful tool, though, in the, data, the digital age, this mega infrastructure provides essential protection for sensitive data across the public and private sectors. The launch of this landmark ICT infrastructure is also a testament to the people-centered future we are building. A Philippines where technology and human connection go hand in hand and exist seamlessly. Over the past couple of years, the Philippines has made meaningful strides in the digital space. In the Global Innovation Index, out of 133 economies, we rose from 56th place in 2023 to 53rd place in 2024. It is an improvement that reflects our collective effort to accelerate Philippine progress through innovation. But this achievement does not make us complacent because we need to do more. We must continue to strive for more. And this is why this administration is persistently taking deliberate steps to propel us to even greater heights. In April of 2024, we launch the National Fiber Backbone Project Phase 1. The NFB will deploy fiber optic cable and wireless technology required to enhance internet accessibility and speed nationwide. We aim to complete the entire project by 2028. Through the Free Public Internet Access Program, we have established more free Wi-Fi sites nationwide. With more than 11 million user sessions recorded as of March 2025, including in GIDA areas, or geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas. Additionally, to ensure energy reli reliability as well as create an investor-friendly environment, the Department of Energy, through its Energy Virtual One-Stop Shop system, is streamlining the applications and permitting process for energy projects. This will ensure that we have enough power to support our hyperscale data centers, including companies, that want to build their own renewable energy facilities that can generate power for self-use. With these efforts of creating a more digitally connected and energy-aware environment, the inauguration of VSR signaled the country's readiness to attract the world's largest technology companies and showcase our regional competitiveness in the digital space. More than that, this technological development is an investment on the future of every Filipino. The Filipino student who studies and conducts research online. The small business owner who relies on social media and e-commerce. The Filipino worker who lives far from his or her family, counting on technology to bridge that distance. This technological infrastructure strengthens connection, not just digitally. It ensures that innovation fosters connection, brings opportunities, and uplifts lives. Alongside infrastructure, we are equipping our people with rec the requisite expertise, anchoring on our broader goal under the Digital Workforce Competitiveness Act. This will build a workforce that is future-ready, inclusive, and able to thrive in the digital economy. Our job in the government is to create the conditions for growth. But real progress comes from partnership, from trust, commitment, and a shared vision. Of course, we would not be here today without the steadfast partnership of our friends from the Vitro and EPLDT Group. Thank you for your vision, for your trust, and most especially in your confidence in the Filipino people. And to our visionary investors, I invite you to come to explore the potential of Filipino ingenuity Bring your technology here. Let us shape the digital economy together with the Filipino being your greatest asset. So as we celebrate this event, let us remember the Bagong Pilipinas we aim to achieve is not just about rebuilding. It is about reimagining and transforming. A nation that embraces digital transformation is a nation that secures inclusive progress. Once again, 
Congratulations to EPLDT for the successful launch of Vitro Santa Rosa. Maraming maraming salamat ang, at mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Maraming maraming salamat, mahal na Pangulo.